C sharp new keyword can be used like this where you are specifying the class here and that's the variable name and then you've got the curly braces here giving the two properties that this object needs so if we have a look at the person class over here you can see this is the person class and it's got two properties name and age and it also has this method called introduce that simply prints out some information over here from the variables so as you can see here when you use the new keyword, we are using the targeted pie. So that means the compiler is able to figure out that the new object that you're asking for is of the person class. In the old style, we used to specify the object on both sides. So this is where we want to sort the variable. And this is the object that we want to create. So you can see the person class with the following properties. So you can see in one, it is short to syntax, while in the other, you have to type in the class name again. But if you use the var keyword, you cannot get away with not specifying the class name after the new keyword because there is no way for c -sharp compiler to know what var actually represents for this variable here so you cannot for example do this where you are just specifying var person that's just the variable name and then new and then just some properties compiler cannot figure it out so you have to use the class name here in order for that to work with the var keyword so i hope this clarifies the target type you don't have to use the class name and the old style syntax which is still very much needed if you want to use the var keyword here and don't want to specify the data type so if i run this program so you can see person and person two so that's person and person two both of them will give the exact same output and the program works as expected and it also works for person three so if i change that to person three and if i run this again then you can see both of them give the same output but just remember if you're using the var keyword you need to specify the class over here with the new keyword as mentioned